been reading through loads of the comments recently and people have been saying, Dan, you've lost so much weight. What have you been doing? You know, one of the mates just even recently just said to me, he said, Dan, he said, you're, uh, you're wasting away. You're disappearing. Where have you gone? Only joking, guys. I was just getting a brew. Anyway, you know, what's the point of this video? Well, people, like I said, have been saying to me, Dan, you've been losing weight. Well, I must effectively tell you why I've started to lose weight for me, what I've done, but also then relate this back to why you guys play golf. What is it that makes you get out, play golf, and the reasons behind everything you do for your game? So, back to the weight loss thing. Yo, I altered my diet a little bit, not drastically. I just kind of watched what I was eating a little bit. Just basically looked at that as a simple math spreadsheet. What I eat versus how much energy I'm expending. I have been running, okay, doing running three, four times a week. I used to run loads and loads. I competed around the track for a club and honestly, I was doing 80 miles a week, double days, things like this. And it got to the point where once I stopped, what was the point in getting out for a run? I was doing all of the running for an end goal, which was about me getting PBs and me being the fastest and best I could be. You know, now I'm really busy with work. I do 60 to 65 hours a week of teaching. Then on top of that, obviously got young baby, got another slightly older son, got to spend time with the family, then we have social media, we have YouTube, we have emails, I'm running the business. So got lots of things that take up my time during the week. And of course, trying to keep my wife happy. No easy task. Anyway, we go back on to, I didn't make the time to go running or any fitness for me. And I really love doing it. But because previously it was all about an end goal of becoming the fastest, the best, etc. For me, going out and just doing a run was really difficult because there was no purpose to it. And it's taken me a long time to get to the point of, you know what, I really love going out for a run. I feel better, I feel fitter, mentally I'm more alert, and I feel better in my clothes. Put on to the top of that, I am a, an absolute nerd stroke geek for learning, I love it. Whether it's learning about the latest things from how children learn, what they're doing from medical science, basically running my business better, getting better on social media. I absolutely love learning that and becoming the best version of me within my industry I can possibly become, okay? And that's what it's all about, becoming the best version of yourself. And that's the main reason why I started doing the run. I can combine it with putting the phone in the pocket, listen to a podcast or an audio book, and I combine two things. I get fitter and I learn at the same time. I'm killing it for me. So that's great, and I'm absolutely loving doing that. And that's going to be something now that I can sustainably continue doing for the rest of my life because I'm now making the time in my diary. I've got a slot every week on the days when I want to to go out and do those runs. And that is the key. I've made the time and found the slot. Now, how does this relate back to you for your golf? Well, I've now come to the realisation that I don't want to do a race, okay? Maybe you don't want to play in a tournament. You know, I might do a marathon, but it'll be a fun marathon. You want to have social games with your friends. What is it that makes you go and play golf? Do you want to just be the best in your little group of mates playing? Do you just enjoy eating balls? Do you just enjoy working at your swing so you've got technically the best looking swing you can have? And you just love doing that. I know a guy who's like this who doesn't play tournament but practices like a full-time golfer. Or are you wanting to win your club championships, get your handicap to the lowest it can be? Or are you wanting to play for a living? You need to go out and find your why. Because once you find that, you can set your goals, okay? I find my why with everything I do within my life from my golf and for my job, and I've then incorporated the running as part of the fitness into what I do every day, and that's the underlying value of my why. You need to find your why, then set your goals accordingly. Set your practice sessions accordingly, because then you know what reasons you're giving for going out there for that golf game. It doesn't mean that every single person should be trying to go out there to be the next Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth, Tiger Woods, it might be that you're just really happy being the best version of you in 
just your mates or just swing or anything find your why that is the number one key really hope you've enjoyed this video guys it's something we've done that's just a little bit different okay but i thought it was really important to get the message out there of obviously what i've been up to a little bit people asking the questions but also how you can relate it to help your golf game because underlying everything that's the most important thing for me is to get you guys to enjoy your game and get the enjoyment level out of what you want to do and achieve your goals so write your goals down and then work tirelessly towards trying to achieve them if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so thanks for watching and talk with you again soon